Hello and welcome to the Game of the World's Strongest Man, Hafter, aka the Mountain from Game of Thrones. And he is participating in the PogChamps online tournament. Uh, what is PogChamps? It is an online tournament where uh, celebrities and uh, popular streamers are playing chess. So the, the players are not, not the top grandmasters, they're not playing at that level. However, uh, their games are actually quite educational because they tend to make the, the mistakes that grandmasters don't uh, ever do so that you can learn from it. And also, of course, the aim of, of PogChamps is to uh, make chess uh, great and popular. So let's uh, go to the game. The opponent of the mountain is uh, uh, Vagamama, who is playing with the white pieces. And actually, so Vagamama is, um, is a Dota player on uh, Twitch. So let's see their game. So d4, d5, knight f3, knight f6, and we are going to the London system. Bishop f5, bishop, uh, bishop f4, bishop f5, e3, e6, knight bd2, bishop d6. So I haven't said this uh, before, but their, uh, their online rating is, so white's online rating is uh, around 1400, while black's is uh, about uh, 1000. However, you can see that actually this game is, is quite all right and uh, the players are playing uh, stronger than that. So now comes bishop takes d6, uh, d6 b, uh, queen takes d6, bishop d3, takes takes. So we can already see that now the c2 pawn went to d3 and actually this uh, pawn is now sort of a half bishop. It controls the very important e4 and uh, c4 squares. So now comes castles, queen b3, b6, castle. And uh, well, this is uh, well, probably one of the, the strangest move and big, biggest mistake in the game. Here, uh, black plays knight g4. So tries to attack, but it uh, doesn't make uh, much sense because his h2 pawn is actually protected. And well, black is uh, not yet developed enough. And here, uh, white makes a very good move. So if you, you want, you can stop the video and figure out how to continue with white. So uh, once your opponent tries to do something uh, on either side of the board, usually the counter plays in the center. So white immediately plays e4, using the fact that the black knight is now left his, uh, his guarding post from f6. Here comes knight e7, and the white continues uh, well again with h3. And the point is that the knight cannot go back to his natural uh, f6 pause because then e5 comes with a double attack. So for that reason, uh, black had to go to h6, and now the knight is uh, looking very ugly on h6. Um, now comes rook ac1, and here black actually plays a sort of a logical, uh, logical plan, however it will be tactically refuted. So it starts with the move d takes uh, e4, and after d takes e4, he plays the move f5. And uh, while the point is very clear, if, uh, well, say white would capture, or allow black to capture at some point, then uh, sorry, then uh, the knight could recapture, and also the d5 square would be uh, under the control of black. Um, however, after f5, there is a well, sort of winning move for white, which starts with e5, and the problem is that this uh, queen now has to leave his guardian post, and the c7 pawn is going to hang behind it. So probably it would have been better to just play queen d5 and exchange the queens. And well, this position is, uh, well, it is a done upon and white is very active. So it's, uh, it's very bad, but still it's uh, playable. However, uh, what black did here instead of queen d5, he went back to queen e7. But now white could take on c7. And the problem is that there is going to be also a pin on the seventh rank. Uh, here comes rook c8, rook c1. Very good move again, reinforcing the rook. And here, uh, well, black, so uh, the mountain correctly saw that he has some problems on the seventh rank. And actually, white is threatening to play queen b5 soon enough to attack uh, his d7 knight. So he decided to move out of the pin, he played queen e8. But the problem with this move is that after rook c8, rook c8, again, exchanging the e6 pawn is hanging. And he, his opponent, Vagamaga, Vagamama, has actually seen it uh, uh, quickly. So queen a6 came, king h8, and white again continues very strong with knight c4 with the idea of going to d6. 
So white is, is very close to winning and uh, well now you can see one of the advantages of online chess that uh, Vagamama has not doesn't have to sit uh, in front of the world's strongest man when he's beating him but he can do it just from, from online which is definitely a safer option. So um, here comes b5, knight d6 and in this position black decided to, well, instead of resigning the game, he gave a nice opportunity to, to deliver mid. So uh, well in this position if you want to figure out uh, it's black to move and getting mid in the next move. And uh, well I think it only has one solution that is playing knight g8 and then you get this method mate with knight f7. And uh, let me know what you think about this, this Bokchamps tournament and also if you want me to cover any of the games then uh, comment it down below. See you next time.